Hello, my name is Alex Carver. I'm a senior solutions engineer with Pure Storage, covering our integrations with VMware. We recently released the 5.2.0 vSphere plugin update. In this update, in version, there are some new features that we want to go ahead and cover. As you can see, I am running version 5.2 with my vSphere plugin, and I have some arrays registered with it. One of the new features that we want to go ahead and cover is the new Create Storage Policies wizard. This replaces the previous workflow where you could import a, protect, a flash array protection group snapshot or replication schedule as the basis or template for a new storage policy. While it worked, it didn't do everything we wanted to, and the more storage policy features and capabilities that we add to our VASA provider, the less that it is about importing protection groups and more about creating storage policies. So let's take a look at what's new. Now, when creating a storage policy, if your vCenters are in linked mode, you'll have the option to select one of the vCenters or multiple vCenters that are linked. For this example, we'll just choose one. Here, the array features, and more specifically, the capabilities and rules that we can use in our storage policy are outlined in four basic groups right now. Our QoS, our volume tagging, local snapshot protection, or remote replication protection. For QoS tagging and local snapshot protection, the array must be on 626 or higher in order to support this feature. For remote replication protection, the arrays must be on 536 or higher. I'll go ahead and select each one of these to show an example of each feature workflow. Here it lets me know which VVOL data stores are compatible. Here you have the option to restrict the policy to a specific array name. If you choose to do that, you can select the array that you want to go ahead and limit this policy's capability or compatibility with. Next is our QoS support. Now these are done at a per virtual disk basis and not a per VM basis. There are little information bubbles next to each of these rules so that you can quickly see what it is. So let's do one with 500 and 5,000. Next are volume tagging keys. In Purity 6.0, we shipped support for the ability for end users to tag their volumes on the array, where you could give a specific key value pair that would be used on each of these volumes on the array. So here we can do a simple key value pair of owner, I guess for consistency sake, that should be that, okay. And if they're copyable, that means if the volume's copied, then it brings over this tag with it. Okay, next is our local snapshot protection. You also have the option to configure extended retention too. Next is the option to configure the replication policy. Now this still lets you use the import protection group workflow before, but it is part of the replication policy construction. Here I can go and import the specific policy and schedules from an individual protection group on a given array. Here it will tell me if it's using local snapshots or remote replication. And now this will go ahead and give me the specific options that this is being used as a basis for. Now I had specific target sites, but I can go ahead and disable that if I didn't have a specific target site that I wanted this to replicate to. Or if I only wanted it to limit to a specific array, I could do that as well. And 
if you wanted to configure your local snapshot schedules as well for the protection group that will be used as the replication group, that's an option. And you can specify it to a specific protection group name if desired. Then you'll want to go ahead and give the policy a name. And after the check, only one data store was found as compatible. Okay, now we have our policy that was created with the specific rules that we wanted. And we know it's compatible with one of our VDVault data stores. So I want to go ahead and apply this policy to one of the VMs just to make sure I can. This was the policy, and because we had replication associated with it too, we will need to configure a replication group. And now we see that that has been applied to it. And on the given array that we have, we will see that our replication group is now populated with the objects for this VM. And we should see a new local protection group created. So this is the one that the VOSA provider automatically created to store the local snapshots for it. And there we go. We were able to use the wizard to create a new storage policy and apply it to a VM. We're excited for the new features that have been released in our new vSphere plugin especially with VVOLs, and are excited to see what customers are able to do with it. Thank you for taking your time and watching this video.